I am totally barefaced right now. I'm not wearing anything on my face. And the reason for that is because I'm going to review the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation. So I wanted to show you what it looks like. I actually got foundation on the front, so excuse it being a little dirty, but this is what it looks like. It comes in a container like this. Um, here's the Revlon Color Stay um, usual tube, just to give you an idea of like size. Um, so it looks pretty big. Once you open it up, you realize it's kind of an optical illusion. You actually don't get a lot of product. Um, you get 0.8 fluid ounces. Um, so you open it up and it comes with this little thing. I keep this in there because it actually, um, it helps me use it when I'm ready to apply my foundation. Anyway, so this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, it's not super liquidy, so I can actually turn it this way. Um, I wouldn't call it a mousse exactly. It doesn't look or feel like a mousse. It's a, a little bit like, um, a uh, thicker liquid foundation almost. Um, it feels kind of pasty. I, I guess um, a race paste from Benefit is a good example. It's not as pasty, <laughs> I guess, um, as, as the erase paste, but it's got a similar look and feel. So what I'm planning on doing today is applying it. So what I like to do um, is grab some with my clean finger and here you can actually see I put a dent in there. That's the weird consistency that it has. Um, and here it is on my finger. It's not, it's not going anywhere. Um, anyway, and then I put it on the back of my hand. So that's probably going to be enough to cover my whole face. Um, let's see. So I'm going to show you guys how I apply it. Um, by the way, I got mine in Warm Golden. Warm Golden is actually my shade in the Color Stay liquid makeup as well. So if you already know your color in the Color Stay liquid makeup, then grab the same color in the Whipped Foundation um, because it's the same. So I'm going to use my Real Techniques um, stippling brush. This is my favorite foundation brush at the moment. Um, I don't know if it'll continue to be, but it is so far. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So I got this off of drugstore.com, I think or Ulta. They both have it, I believe. Anyway, so um, I basically stipple it on there, and then I just start applying it as usual. And the great part about this is it doesn't feel, it feels super light and airy when I'm putting it on, is the best way to put it. When I put color stay on, it feels like I'm playing, putting this layer of just, like, thick creamy liquid and I thought it would be even worse with this um, because it basically is like a really thick liquid um, but it doesn't it feels really nice and airy it almost feels like I'm putting a um, like a cream to powder on because this foundation does a really good job of going matte once it's applied and it's um, and it's set uh, which is kind of what Color Stay does, but I feel like this does a better job of that. So now you can see the kind of coverage this gives me. You saw my face before I put this on, and now you can see the coverage that it's given me now, which I think is really great coverage. It's nice and even. Um, I'll go in with like a concealer brush and do like spot concealing, but really from here, like if I, don't feel like I need to look flawless, I can just continue my makeup from here. And I think that the coverage is great. I think that the longevity is really good. I actually think it works, it works and it feels so much nicer than the liquid color stay, to be completely honest. I set it with my usual Tarte Amazonian clay powder and it lasts throughout the day. I don't get oily. I haven't been breaking out. I've been testing it for about, I think about five days now so I haven't had any breakouts or anything like that I haven't had any issues where I've noticed like more clogging of pores around my nose or anything like that because that's usually where I get them and I've got to say I'm a really big fan of this foundation I didn't think I would be because I thought oh well if it's basically just thicker color stay why am I 
you know, I'm not going to like that. I feel like I save color stay for days when I feel like, oh, I need a little something extra. Like maybe it's a special occasion and I need like really kind of almost cakey, very, very even makeup. I can use this for every day. That's how light and airy it feels when I put it on, but it gives me amazing coverage. It feels good. I haven't had any issues with it. So this costs me $14.99 at Walgreens, but I think the price varies depending on where you purchase it. Uh, I'm going to put my glasses back on. <laughs> I can't really see right now. But um, so, and uh, I believe there's... Um, there's this blog that I like reading. It's called Nouveau Cheap, and I'll uh, link to it at the bottom. She actually has um, a link to a $2 coupon to get $2 off this Revlon Whipped Foundation, so I'll link to that as well. Um, I'm going to share Nouveau Cheap with you guys because I think it's a really great resource for um, finding great sales that are going on, on like, at like drugstores all the time. She lists like Walgreens, Rite and CVS, which are like the national U.S. brands. So it's actually really helpful. But hopefully this gives you a really great idea of the coverage this gives, um, how it looks, and performance-wise, guys, I really have nothing but good things to say. Uh, if I feel like my opinion changes, then I'll let you know, but I mean, yesterday was one of the hottest days in San Francisco, and it outperformed every other one of my foundations. I'm being completely honest. So um, definitely check it out if it's something that you were thinking of looking at. It's definitely worth it and um, hopefully uh, you know this this will give you a good idea of where to go if you feel like you know Revlon Color Stay Liquid Foundation has just been too cakey. Um, this this is a good solution to that. So I hope they keep making this. I'm going to be really bummed if they don't. Um, I think it's totally worth it for the price. Um, like I said you get 0.8 ounces which isn't a terrible amount you get one fluid ounce with this but I feel like I have to use a bit more of this to cover my whole face um, but really $14.99 for a foundation like this that's performing so well is still cheaper than going to like you know the Chanel or NARS or MAC counter and getting something that probably isn't going to perform as well. Um, you might get more, it might be more expensive. Um, I think that this is a great price for a really good performing foundation. So that's my review guys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and if you have any requests for things that you've seen in the drugstore or in store that maybe you're hoping that I can review, I'll see what I can do. And uh, coming up soon I think I have uh, L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows which I'm still testing out. I bought four um, and uh, I, I just bought some of those Revlon uh, Kissable Lip Stains so I'm testing those out right now. So far love them. And uh, so hopefully I'll have some more reviews soon, and uh, I will have to see you guys later. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye!